You will not have any quarrel with the problems, I mean, with the, with, with the laws and the text and the speech the president has just made. It's a fatherly speech that he has made, very fatherly, and pointing out to all of us the problems that are existing in the country. He is there, he has appointed people to work with him, to implement his policies in the field. He is not the one to go and implement those policies, but he oversees the implementation of those policies in the field. And when people are failing in their responsibilities, we have seen the clear example of what he has done before, and people have gone to prison because of that. And part of patriotism has to do with the willingness to sacrifice for your own country, with the will to defend that very country in which you live, without changing your support and your devotion to that country. Being loyal to that very institution. Because institutions themselves are not corrupt. Because I've, I've not seen any text in Cameroon that has enshrined an aspect of corruption into it. There is none. It doesn't exist. Which therefore means that the texts are they were written, but the individuals who are applying those texts are not doing the right thing. And I can speak as a, one who has been to the field, as a member of the anti-corruption unit in the Ministry of Territorial Administration. I've gone around this country to very many places to cross-check people and indict them through the reports that we wrote after that. And some of those people I can tell you today have been disciplined and taken off from the office. I don't need to call their names on, on this set. But those who are listening to me and those who are victims will know that we visited them, we audited them, we, look, we verified their records, we saw they were corrupt. And we wrote reports and actions were taken. Some of them were demoted from their offices and some of them were just left out completely. I can attest to that. 